Alright guys, so today we have a little bit of a different video because, as you may or may not know, for the majority of October, and I think maybe the first week of November, at McDonald's, in their Happy Meals for the toys, they had these MCU Marvel Studios heroes. And I made a video about them when they were first announced, going over the different characters that you could get. Um, and, you know, I, I said that I'd collect as many as I could, and I'd do a review at the end. Um, well, now the pro promotion is over. You can't get these anymore. I mean, you could probably go on eBay and get some, but that would be expensive. Um, so anyway, there were nine to collect. I think I only got six, so that really sucks. The three that I did not get were um, the Hulkbuster, the Black Widow in her white widow suit, and Vision, which sucks because Vision, of course, was the one that I wanted the most. And this seems to happen all the time. Like, when I was younger and I used to get, like, Happy Meals every week, like, all year long, I, whenever they would have some sort of toy assortment, it would always be, like, I would get all but one, and that one that I didn't get was the one I wanted the most, so that really sucks, um, because I really wanted Vision, um, but, uh, I didn't, and that's sad. But the ones I did get are pretty cool, so as I promised you guys, I am doing a review for these, and, uh, I haven't done an actual review like for toys and figures since like the beginning of my channel has been like at least a year since I did that I, w I did reviews for Marvel Legends and I just stopped doing them because the quality was so bad but you know we'll give them another try um so let's see how this goes um and let's go ahead and review these all right so these are all of the ones that I managed to get from this set and we are going to do a breakdown of all of them one by one and as you can tell right now um, I have them all connected on their bases because that's one of the cool features about these is that they all connect at their bases. So I'll go more into depth on that later, but for now, let's uh, let's just go through them one by one. Um, so let's start off with the Falcon. We'll actually do the Winter Soldier at the same time because they're kind of a dynamic duo now in the MCU. Um, so the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. They look cool. They do. Um, I like the designs for these. I feel like with Falcon, you know, his wings look a little weird being that small um but you know i get it because you know this is a mcdonald's toy what do you expect and then as for bucky you know he's got a nice design on his suit and everything and i love that um but his his face it just it, it doesn't look right Some, something looks wrong with this man um and we had the same problem with the avengers endgame ones they looked a little funky too like that hulk gave me nightmares um but the this Bucky, even though it doesn't look great, it is definitely a huge improvement. Now let's move on to Wanda. Um, and I really wish that I had Vision to go with her, so then I could have Wanda and Vision, which would be Wanda Vision, but uh, I don't. Um, so this is a really cool figure because, um, you know, once again, the, the head doesn't look the greatest. Um, but I do like how she has these translucent pieces on her arms and like these magical scarlet witchy disc things going on there um so that is really cool as well and by the way um when you press the thing on her back you know it just moves her arms up and down so it's not that cool um then we have probably my favorite of the bunch and that is baby Groot aka potted Groot he looks amazing I love how this one came out um when you press the back on his um thing he kind of does a little dance um, so that's really cool. But I, I just love the way that one looks. Um, so that one's... Baby Groot is awesome. Now we will move on to the Hulk. A.K.A. Gladiator Hulk. Um, now this is based off of his appearance in Thor Ragnarok. This was probably the one that I was looking forward to the least. But I am so glad that I got him. Because he does look cool. Um... But, you know, I, I definitely would prefer, like, maybe a regular Hulk. Um, but he does definitely look cool. And, you know, his arms move up and down and stuff. So, there's that. And then, finally, the final one I was able to get was the Wasp. Um, which, then it also, um, if I had Ant-Man from the Avengers Endgame set, that'd be really nice if I could have Ant-Man and the Wasp. But, I don't. Um, but her suit looks amazing. I love the helmet. You know, once again, the wings move up and down. So that's really cool as well. Um, so yeah, those are all of the uh, figures from this set. Now I'm just going to like put them back together here. So we got Hulk. We got ourselves the baby potted Groot. 
we got the Scarlet Witch. Then we have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So yeah, that is how they connect. It's pretty easy to do. They just, you know, slip into each other's bases. Um, and now before I wrap this up, I do want to do a quick comparison to the Avengers Endgame ones, which I was able to get. Um, so from Avengers Endgame, I was able to get Nebula. And then I got Hulk, Captain America, and Black Widow in their Quantum Realm suits. So there's that. Um, you know, definitely huge improvements from the Endgame ones to these new ones. I really hope they continue this trend of doing like one MCU set per year because these are pretty cool. It's a nice little collectible series, especially how like they all connect together. So that's definitely really cool. And I really enjoyed these. I enjoyed collecting these. Um, of course, I wish I could have gotten all of them, especially Vision. Um, and then what sucks more about it is that I got all these duplicates. I think I got an extra Hulk. I got an extra Scarlet Witch. And then I got uh, an extra Falcon. And then I think I got another extra Scarlet Witch as well. So it was crazy. Like I said, wish I could have gotten Vision. Wish I could have got Black Widow. Wish I could have got Hulkbuster. But for now, I am happy with the ones that I did get. Like I said, my favorite has to be Baby Groot. And probably my least favorite, um, I think I gotta go with, I don't know, maybe Hulk. You know what, let's do a full-on ranking. So, worst to best. Uh, Hulk, Winter Soldier, uh, probably Falcon, then uh, Scarlet Witch, Wasp, and Groot. Groot is just so awesome, I love the way that came out. And then there's a little dance too, that's, that's just really cool. Um, so yeah guys, anyway, these are the... Uh, Happy Meal Toys from October, the Marvel Studios Heroes. Um, hopefully we get something like this next year. Not sure what it would be, um, but we'll really have to just wait and see, guys. So definitely let me know down in the comments below what do you think of these figures, what do you think of this set, and did you collect any yourselves, and what are you missing? So thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel life.